So these are the vaunted frameworks of the game startup company. It started me on the basic, which was free, free for users, cost uh, 14 hundredths of a millisecond. No, 14 hundredths of a compute unit for a millisecond of service. Max features three. And after I got to 10 feature level on all my features, um, it allowed me to upgrade. And I chose to upgrade to Framework 1.0 instead of Microsoft, or sorry, Nitrosoft 2005, which would be what, XP or Vista or something? So I thought it would be easy to get to 40 on this thing, but it's been taking forever. Renaissance Musings, once it reaches level 40, is going to have a choice. I've got enough research points up here at the top, 1,775, to upgrade to either this platform or this platform. Ideally, I'd want to skip ahead and get the one with nine features, but I think that's going to be locked out of the beta at this point because it costs $780,000 just for the license for version 3.0 and I would never get to a feature level of 2000 on each one of those that would never happen so once once you're off of uh, the framework 1.0 or Nitrosoft platform 2005 you're pretty much expected to pick one of these many options and stick with it um, but you can always start new websites base them out and then upgrade them to something advanced right off the bat once you reach your initial basic 10 feature level um, and and then upgrade the feature level to something else but you know I didn't think I'd make it to 40 even it was so hard but I I, I, I want more features but I'm not going to be able to get to the 9 because it costs 780,000 and I only have 680,000. So I'm going to be stuck with Cute Framework 2.0, which is what I've got irreverent.tv on. And once that reaches 500 feature level, which, you know, may never happen because it's at level 10 and each upgrade takes all this stuff, which is hard to come by. We've got sharing live streaming, working on getting chat. I need one more of these API client modules, which are made by my lead developer, who is, whoops, he's not in yet. Let's start the time machine to get him in. Jeffrey Hamilton, and that's his workflow. He makes two of those per workflow, and he's also working on the um, payment system for Super Bowl champions credit card weed purchases so he's gonna be done with that soon this he's making a, a storage mo a, no it's a database layer that takes 3.8 hours and then an API client module that takes 10 hours so we should be done with that in two days and then I'll be able to implement uh, chat on irreverent TV which should make things a lot more fun and get us more registered users because right now we have a bunch of people jumping ship. Instead of taking 10%, um, the investors stole all our clients. Fuckers. Well, now look at our registered users. Motherfuckers. Oh well. Maybe, maybe they started a sister site and uh, mirrored our content and got everybody stuck with their internals instead of our internals. And the corporate espionage like that happens all the time. Anyway, I'm just gonna play at three times speed and get this comment system and chat system in. Speed it up. Let's go. <coughs> <coughs> For this number to go up by one and then that'll go up by one <laughs> T 
Ta fucking da. Congratulations, Alex. We pretended we got you rich. Is everyone happy with it? Oh yeah, they love it. 8% of people are happy with it. <laughs> Which means we're going to have to upgrade until it's as good as this other stuff. So sharing, live streaming, chats, interesting banner ads from reputable companies, and $9 a month subscription. It's, a, it's about equivalent to Twitch Prime. You know? Except it's not a gaming live stream. It's a... Um, what is it? It's a... Who knows? We have room for one more feature. Maybe I should talk with Alex when he visits this weekend to see what we should do it and quit this game until then. Alright, that's it for now. Have a fun weekend. <laughs>